Hi, my name's Kian, and I love all things artsy and journaling and sketchbooking and um, all manner of things. Um, I am working right now in a moleskin sketchbook, and I'm getting close to the end, and I am also getting ready to go out of town, and I always, I probably have enough pages, really, but I always get a little paranoid about the idea of running out. Um, I really am not likely to, but nevertheless, I'll probably take along an extra sketchbook, so I'm, I am going to choose my next sketchbook and which one I want to take along. I have enjoyed the moleskin, but and it works great for a lot of mediums, but it is not, I'm, I don't really enjoy it for watercolor. This is just the regular sketchbook, not the, not the watercolor version. So I do enjoy drawing in it, sketching in it. Um, I really like how it works with colored pencils have been very nice. I have done um, many Patreon illustrations in here. I, I am definitely do like the ugly sketchbook type thing because I have, this is very much a working, a working uh, book. So there's all kinds of things in here, including some like grandchildren's scribbles. Um, but all of these were done with colored pencil. I do. It's very smooth paper. I enjoy it with colored pencil. I enjoy it with pencil. I enjoy it with um, acrylic paint. The only thing I really that would like to do that it doesn't work super well with is um, watercolor. So I have picked for my next sketchbook, partly just because I'd like some variety, but I have picked um, to use one of these two, and I've purchased them both. I um, This one is a mixed, well, they're both mixed media sketchbooks. This one has pretty smooth paper, but there's a little bit of tooth to it. It is the Strathmore mixed media soft cover. This one is also soft cover. They're also both real close to the same size. This one is just slightly um, narrower. This one's just a little bit wider. This one is, I've used this kind before. This one is new to me, um, but it's by Stillman and Byrne, and I keep hearing so much about their sketchbooks that I decided to um, try one at some point. But whether it's my next one or not is the question. So I'm going to open this up here. They have many different versions. They all have um, like Greek alphabet names um, for this go here on the back. It shows they have the Alpha, Beta, Epsilon, Zeta. Um, all of those have white paper. And then they have these ivory papered. Um, the Gamma and Delta, um, they have different kinds of, like they have cold press, medium uh, grain, smooth surface, and then they have uh, toned papers as well. So what I got was the Zeta, um, which is supposed to be smooth surface, and it's also the heavier weight paper. So I thought it could might be good for watercolor and it says that it's good for dry and wet media watercolor ink uh, techniques so it feels kind of similar to uh, in smoothness to the moleskin sketchbook the paperweight is a little heavier so I um, am kind of anxious to try it out and then the Strathmore, like I said, has a little more tooth. It doesn't like open quite as nice without some effort. I guess I just need to kind of break it in. Get it laying a little flatter. It will lay fairly flat. Um, so, but before I commit to taking these on trip, you know, I want to 
kind of decide which one. So I'm going to kind of flip to the back and try out some of the mediums that I most commonly use. So the first thing I'm going to try out is watercolor because that's one I've struggled with a little bit in the Moleskin sketchbook. That's interesting. The pages, instead of this being an unusual, unusable page, it's actually uh, one of the sketchbook pages. I don't think that's the case with this one. Yeah, see this one has the back cover as different paper. So I'm going to turn them both to the back cover though, or the back, and um, try to try out the watercolor. So I'm going to see how it works. Um, especially with maybe a little bit wet watercolor. I'm going to spritz them both with a little bit of water. I guess I should do this page and see if it buckles instead of the cover page. And let's take my water brush here and Well, it's def better than the moleskin sketchbook for sure, which I don't fault the moleskin sketchbook for that because that's not really what they're um, advertised to do. I do like how this one is bleeding out on this Strathmore. Like I said this paper has a little bit more tooth to it. Okay, let's see how these colors blend. And I'll try it dry. Okay, something else I want to try is my colored pencils. Okay, that works pretty nice. It's pretty smooth. This is has much more texture to this paper and that's it really shows up with the colored pencil. Now the thing is I am not sure I'm even going to take my colored pencils so that may not be an issue on the trip.
you can get a very smooth color pretty easily. I think you probably can eventually here too, but this takes a little more work and pressure because of the tooth and the paper. color two crayons again I don't know if you can see but that tooth really shows up This definitely gives like a coarser look with at least those two. We have some soft pastels. Makes lots of dust on this toothy paper. That is really pretty the way that washes out on here. tried the different kinds of medium that I'm wanting to use in here um, except for gouache so that's what I'm trying now I'm trying it like very watered out and watching how it blends with each other and then I'll also try it you know a drier version of it as well I do plan to take some gouache along as my form of paint on this trip and so I can just take some time to do some playing with the gouache 
and I'm just now jumping into making a bunch of uh, mark making and just kind of seeing how things react with each other just uh, having a little bit of play time while I'm kind of getting a real feel for both of these papers so I'm just gonna turn on some music and let you watch me play for a little bit and then I'll be back with you in just a little bit those neo color two back out and try using them on top of some of the other media seeing how that works um, you know using them dry not wetting them uh, I also am just having a lot of fun here mostly just playing at this point reaching for my white uh, jelly roll pen and just checking how that works on top of some of these things just to add in a little extra mark making obviously it doesn't work too good on top of the waxy neo color too but it works great on top of the gouache and you know somewhere in between on everything else so okay I've dried played with my materials dried them both um, as you can see they both Kind of have a similar amount of buckling. These pages are slightly thinner than the Strathmore. Um, this one has 64 pages in the Strathmore Mixed Media, while this one has 26. And they're about the same thickness, so you can see that these pages are much heavier. Um, and I think that probably this would flatten out better from the buckling than this page, but either one are too bad. So, and they both, I both am happy with how they take media, but they are different. This has got a little bit, it's pretty smooth, but it's got a little more tooth to it than the Zeta does. And um, you can see a little more texture there. So it's just kind of what you're after, both with the colored pencils and the Neo Color crayons, both. Um, they are somewhat similar in their bleed, although you can see a little bit difference just in the bleed, the pattern of the bleed of the watercolors. I tried gel pen on both of them worked similarly on top of the media that was there. Um, really pretty comparable I would say. 
uh, quality wise they are they do behave differently so really it boils down to whether you like that little bit of tooth showing or not also the fact that this has more pages I do have a little bit of um, you kind of have to work with this one to get it laying smooth or flat um, a little bit more than this one just because of how that you can see the stitched signatures here um, it is very nice um, I think that I am going to choose the Strathmore Mixed Media to take with me only because I have been currently working on very smooth paper and this would change things up a little bit I like you know I like to have some change in variety but I am also very happy with um, this one as well and we'll look forward to using it and probably once back home I will you know I often work in multiple sketchbooks at once so I, that will likely be the case but I'm going to just take one of them with me I think I'm going to take this one so I also need to think about whether I want to decorate the cover but that may come in a different video so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time